In this episode of Video Fashion News, we're bringing you our favorite collections of spring-summer 2021. In New York, creative director Wes Gordon celebrates the signature style of Carolina Herrera for the label's latest runway. Bibu Mohapatra brings his collection to life in a poetic short film. I wanted to bring people together to create something that will allow me to tell the story behind this collection and behind the clothes, so I decided to make a film. Texas-born designer Brandon Maxwell embraces comfort and ease for COVID times, while across the pond, Fendi explores a sensual aesthetic on their Milan runway. In South Africa, Gert Johan Coetzee looks to his past for a surprising and eye-popping catwalk. I wanted to bring across my roots from the farm, so I got inspired by the cow print. Plus, Dolce & Gabbana celebrate hand craftsmanship with their elaborate patchwork confections. Versace takes us on a mystical journey under the sea. And more on Video Fashion News. Creative Director Wes Gordon presented his Spring 2021 collection for Carolina Herrera in a runway video that celebrated the label's signature style. The show was unmistakably Carolina Herrera with voluminous garments, polished tailoring, saturated colors, and a soft, sophisticated elegance. Herrera's signatures were on full display, such as polka dots, puffy sleeves, and of course, crisp white shirts. A color palette of black and white, accented with lush pink tones, was sophisticated and timeless. Feminine tailoring was offered on the runway alongside dreamy dresses in luscious fabrics. Several looks were styled with dramatic statement belts. Oversized bows accented some of the pieces for a playful and romantic spirit. As the show was presented during the COVID-19 pandemic, Gordon wanted to create a collection that reflected this moment in our lives through a colorful and optimistic lens. The result was a dreamy, joyful collection that brought some light to these dark times. I wanted to bring people together to create something that will allow me to tell the story behind this collection and behind the clothes. So I decided to make a film. The inspiration behind the collection was a female artist, Amrita Shergil. She was half Hungarian and half Indian. She was a very strong person. She believed in her work and she always questioned the norms that why aren't female artists getting the same amount of encouragement and a spotlight. She was in the world of the Picassos and their contemporaries and she socialized with them, but that was not enough for her. 
she passed away mysteriously when she was only 29 years old but within that short span of life she had created a pretty impressive body of work and then after that she became this legend she became an example of the first female modern artist so we did a small collection based on that and we changed the color stories and it became much more sort of vibrant i introduced chartreuse and lime and uh, pale blue and pinks and lots of neutrals but we decided to have most of the shapes come from some of our best selling bodies that we have created in the last 11 years of our history i really want to use this collection as a pivoting point in the brand's life without abandoning our core customers so we have this beautiful intricately done evening pieces but also we introduced a lot more cotton and denim and canvas as right wear pieces truly the bibu woman is a global woman she's someone who's curious about things not just fashion she's interested in fashion but she's also interested in the craft that goes behind it she's interested in a beautifully crafted piece of clothing that has a longevity For spring 2021, Silvia Venturini Fendi staged a live socially distanced runway in Milan. The catwalk presented Fendi's menswear and women's collections in a combined show. The collection was a celebration of family, home, tradition and freedom, delivering a positive message during these uncertain times. Spring 2021 continued the previous season's idea of boardroom to boudoir dressing, as seen in slinky silhouettes and lingerie-inspired looks. The pieces had an easy feel and a sensual sensibility. An artisanal yet modern approach was applied to the label's menswear tailoring. Subtle prints and soothing tones of white, camel, gray, and sky blue ran through the collection. A relaxed, sophisticated and optimistic collection from Fendi. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, Brandon Maxwell presented his spring 2021 collection digitally in a video he directed to look like a runway show. The collection was all about the comfort and ease of dressing up 
allowing his customer to look great without the fuss. Flowing chiffon skirts were light and airy. Parka jackets and pants were practical separates, while luxurious jersey neoprene tops were snug and comforting. The collection was offered primarily in soothing neutral tones of white, black, and blue-gray, with the occasional pop of neon yellow, vibrant green, and bold red. This collection was easy and sophisticated, infused with a spirit of joy and optimism that is essential to the Brandon Maxwell brand. I wanted to bring across my roots from the farm, so I got inspired by the cow print. Um, on the farm growing up, I was surrounded by hingunis and all different types of animals, and um, just really researching and understanding the meaning of the cow and how important that has been in South African culture and in South African history. It was the one of the first symbols of wealth. It's a spiritual link between the world that we live in and the spiritual world with offerings and things like that. And that just really invoked this beautiful avant-garde ideas that I had into the collection. I designed for the most glamorous person in the world. It is really that fashionista that makes the cameras turn. She is, or he is, or they are, used to cameras flashing so much that it could blind them. It is really um, creating a moment in life and I think that is what Khaja and Kutsia does is we just really wrap ourselves around your style and just create you as the moment and the focal point. My studio is in Linden, Johannesburg. Um, I just love that it is almost like a quieter area where people can just come in and relax and just enjoy the experience of having a catch and could see a moment in their life. Um, I think it's really for us about making it as comfortable as possible for the client and Linden Johannesburg is the perfect spot for that. I am surrounded by the best of the best. I think if you want to be the best, you have to work with the best. Um, behind me is Chris. Uh, Chris actually won my Khachin Kutsia bursary a couple of years ago. And throughout the years, we've just really worked together so beautifully. And every single person that helps to put a Khachin Kutsia garment together is absolutely worth their weight in gold. For me, the most important lesson that came out of COVID is that less is more and also that we have to take care of the planet a little bit better and that is really what I am um, aiming towards as Khach and Kutsia and the whole Khach and Kutsia brand. Season after season we are trying more and more to be more sustainable but this just kind of escalated it a bit. The one fabric that we're using is made from plastic bottles that gets picked up on the streets of South Africa, spun into beautiful t-shirts and then that will go straight into retail after the collections. We are using tensile fabric that is such a great sustainable fabric. So it's just really massaging the sustainability of the, of, of the brand of Khadja and Kutsia. So that is the collection in a nutshell. What I care about most in my business is really the client 
and the staff. It is so important that the one needs the other and both have to be so happy for the business to grow. I love working with women. I love working with fabulous fashion people that just wants to look and feel good. And at the end of the day, that is what I do. I am not a fashion designer. I'm a, a dream maker. And I think um, that is what I love about working with the people in the business and the clients. For spring 2021, Donatella Versace was dreaming of a new world. Her Milan runway show took us under the sea to Versace Palace, an imaginary submarine settlement inhabited by powerful men and women. The co-ed show blended mythology and fantasy with Versace's bold and modern sensibility. The collection featured bright, popping colors and a plethora of fantastical sea creatures, most notably the starfish. Sporty pieces and swimwear were given the high fashion Versace treatment. Tailored garments on men and women were oversized with a relaxed feel and splashed with eye popping color. Vivid dresses with frills and curls were reminiscent of seashells and exotic reefs. For evening, the color palette shifted from black and white to pastels bedazzled with a treasure trove of crystals. With all of its color and boldness, the message of the show was ultimately one of optimism. For spring 2021, Ula Johnson debuted her runway on Roosevelt Island in New York, with Manhattan's iconic skyline serving as the backdrop. Johnson's collection offered a modernist sensuality and organic ease. Soft and diaphanous silhouettes enveloped the models as they walked down a hand-painted runway. The garments were sculptural, yet relaxed, with ample ruffles, pleating, and dramatic sleeves. The rich patchwork of textures and patterns were a feast for the eyes. Johnson played in a color palette of stone, clay, and khaki, punctuated with vibrant coral, purple, and chartreuse. Inspired by traditional Japanese design, Johnson explored the symbolic use of flowers in Japanese culture, creating prints that featured botanicals such as poppies and cherry blossoms. Johnson also launched handbags this season. The classic shapes had a soft and organic feel, 
for a casual yet elevated ease. The runway delivered a modern, eclectic, and feminine collection that was distinctly Ula Johnson. For spring 2021, Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana put on a colorful and exuberant show that celebrated handcrafted work. Eschewing minimalism, the collection was a parade of patchwork pieces in which different colors, shapes, textures, and materials were joined together to create a unity. The design duo was inspired by the island of Sicily and the contrasts that make it unique. Each look was handcrafted by the label's skilled artisans. A wide variety of silhouettes were presented in the patchwork theme, from flowing dresses to sweatshirts, shorts, and jackets. The outfits were paired with boots, heels, and sneakers, all interpreted in the collection's clashing combinations of materials. Iconic Dolce & Gabbana bags were updated for accessories that were just as bold as the garments. The collection was a rich and vibrant patchwork and was instantly recognizable as the work of Dolce & Gabbana. That's a wrap on this episode of Video Fashion News. Tune in next time for another fashion experience.